Okay, so we have another problem here with three variables and three equations, and we want to solve this problem here using elimination. So um, this is actually going to be an easier problem that we've looked at. Well, not easier, but at least a little bit more straightforward, and maybe for that exact same reason, a little bit more creepy. Uh, but let's look at number one, two, and three. All right, what I see in two and three is I've got a four z going on here. So I'm going to do 2 and 3 and I'm going to eliminate z. Now I'm lucky because over here in number 1 z is already gone. In 1. So I'm just going to leave that as 2x plus 4y equal to 1. So I'm just going to leave that the way it is, and I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to use 2 and 3 to eliminate z over there. So I've got 4z, or 4x, minus 4z equals negative 1, and I have y minus 4z equals negative 3. Okay, so I want to obviously add these down and get rid of that 4z, but I can't right now because I'm off by negative. If I added it, I would get... You know, 4x plus y minus 8z, and that's not what I want. I want that to be 0. So um, I'll go ahead and get rid of that. So what I want to do is I want to multiply this whole equation by negative 4. And by multiplying by negative, oh, sorry, by negative 1, hopefully by multiplying by negative 1, I'll, uh, I'll solve that problem. So this one's going to stay the same. It's still 4x minus 4z equals negative 1, but now I'm going to distribute that negative 1 through here, so I'll get, uh, I'll get negative y plus 4z is equal to positive 3. So now I'm going to add it straight down, get 4x minus y plus 0 equals 2, so I have 4x minus y equals 2. So now I have two equations, I have this one, and I have this one, this one. I have two equations, that one's enough. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use those two, solve for x and y, and then uh, then plug it back in. So this is the go to town part. So I have um, 2x plus 4y is equal to one, and I have 4x minus y is equal to two. Just to shake things up a bit, I'm going to solve this little sub-problem um, by substitution, just for funsies. Okay, so um, solve this little sub-problem by substitution. I'm going to solve for y. So um, I'm going to take this 4x minus y equals 2. I'm going to add y to both sides to get 4x equals y plus 2. Then I'm going to subtract 2 from both sides to get 4x minus 2 equals y. And I can rewrite that as y equals 4x minus 2. Okay, so I have y equals 4x minus 2. And I'm going to plug that in for y right there. So this guy over here becomes... 2x plus 4, and instead of y, I'm going to put 4x minus 2, and that's equal to 1. We need to be super duper careful to distribute that across when I get to that point. So I've got 2x plus 4 times 4x is 16x, and then minus 8 equals 1. So combining like terms. I'm going to, let's see, I'm going to add 8 to both sides and end up with 18x equals 9. And then I'll divide both sides by 18. So I get x equals 9 over 18. And I can reduce that to x equals 1 half. So yay! I've got x equals 1 half. Yeah. And I take this information and I plug it in up here. So we're going all over the place with this thing. 
So I've got y equals 4 times x, which is 1 half, minus 2. So y equals 4 times 1 half. It's the same thing as 4 over 2, or 2. 2 minus 2 is 0. So y equals 0. So I'm like practically done, but not quite. So I have y equals 0. So what I need to do is go back up and look and say, okay, I can pick any one of these equations that I originally had. So I'm going to pick um, y minus 4 is equals minus 3. So no reason, just because I feel like it. y minus 4z equals minus 3. Okay, so I have a y. Oh, see, that's why I did it. Because now that's 0. Minus 4z is equal to negative 3. So minus 4z equals negative 3. And if I divide both sides by negative 4, lo and behold, yay, I get z equals 3 fourths. So that's awesome. z equals 3 fourths. So whenever I put all my answers together, I get 1 half, 0, and three-fourths. That's my x, y, z uh, ordered triple. Okay, so there's my fantastic answer that I will turn in. And if I, if I tested those out, they would in fact have to satisfy all three of those original equations in my, in my problem.